Hi, I'm Pam East, and today I'd like to talk to you about alternative firing methods for metal clay. There are a lot of different ways to fire metal clay other than a kiln. Kilns can cost $800 to $1,000, and if you're not ready to spend that kind of money, that doesn't mean you can't do metal clay. Um, there are torches, stovetop methods, but my favorite method is the ultralight kiln. This is what I use. If you're not going to use a regular kiln, this is the next best thing. These ultralight kilns are extremely versatile. Not only can you fire multiple pieces of metal clay and get really consistent results, you can also do kembu in them. You can do, which is gold on silver. I have a video on that if you want that. Um, uh, you can do enameling, and yes, of course, I have an enameling video too. Um, but all, all kinds of things that you can do in these little ultralight kilns, and they're very, very affordable. There are two different models. There is the less expensive beehive model, and it's a nice little kiln. That's a great way to get started. Really good for kembu. You can do metal clay on it. Um, the studio model is a larger unit. It does have a larger firing area, which means you can fire more pieces at once. I also much prefer this unit for enameling. So when I do my enameling video, this is the one you're going to be seeing. I'm going to show you how to fire metal clay in this, and let's move on to that. Let's talk about the tools and equipment that we're going to use to fire metal clay. So obviously you're going to need the ultralight. Now I'm using the studio model, but the instructions that I'm going to give you will work for either the studio model or the beehive. It's the same instructions for both units. You'll also need a heat safe surface to set your ultralight on. This is a uh, heat safe mat. So I mean, I could set this right on the countertop. I don't have to be on any other kind of a surface. This will protect your countertop. Um, I still work on a tile though, because I'm taking hot things in and out. I'm going to be taking out hot pieces and needing to set them down. I've got my tweezers, they might be hot, I need to set those down. So I still want to have a tile, and I tend to just set this whole unit on the corner of the tile while I'm working. Um, the other thing that you're going to need is these metal clay firing discs. You only put these on the element when you're firing metal clay. You don't want to set the metal clay directly on the element. It could get too hot and melt. You need to put it onto the ceramic disc. You're going to get a better, more consistent firing that way. The waffle side of the disc is the part that goes down onto the element. And the reason is they, uh, it, it's kind of rough, so it's going to keep it from sliding it around. And also, it's more surface area where you've got that waffle uh, weave and it concentrates the heat and transmits it through the ceramic disc better. The reason they call it a drying disc is that when you put this on, if you set one of these up on top, you can dry pieces on there. So, you know, as it's heating up, if you're working on metal clay, you could be throwing things up here and drying them up on here. So, the next thing you have to do is turn it on, and I have the temperature controller. This is a dial controller. It's got all these different settings, so I can adjust the temperature based on what I'm doing. If I'm doing kembu, if I'm doing enameling, if I'm doing metal clay. For metal clay, I'm going to turn it all the way up. I'm going to turn it up as high as it goes. I'm going to preheat this unit for 35 minutes. You have to get it completely preheated before you start firing your metal clay. Then uh, the only other thing you need is some metal clay pieces to fire, and I have those all ready to go. I'm firing art clay silver, but you can use this with any of the fine silver clays. I, any of the PMC or art clay fine silver clays will work great in this unit. So now we're going to, I've got this turned up to 10. We're going to let it heat up for 35 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll fire a piece. It's been 35 minutes and the unit has preheated. Um, it's important to do the heating with the lid on. These lids are reflective and they reflect the heat back in and they help it get to temperature. Without the lid on, it's going to take flipping forever to get it up to temperature. So you do have the lid on during the heating phase, but when you go to fire, we're going to fire with the lid off. 
If you have the lid on during firing, sometimes thin pieces can actually end up getting melted. So as long as you leave the, the lid off during the firing, you won't have a problem. And again, these instructions are the same for both models. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off now. And we're going to grab a little piece here and I'll use the tweezers to lay it on here. And now we're going to fire it. So you'll see it's starting to smoke and then it's going to have some fire. That fire is the binder burning out. That is absolutely normal. Um, so you have to get the binder burned out somehow. I did have a student once who stopped and blew her piece out. That doesn't help you any. Um, it's going to get to a salmon pink color. You don't have to wait. You immediately start timing and you're going to time this for 35 minutes. 35 minutes is an appropriate firing for Art Clay Silver, PMC Plus, PMC 3, PMC Flex. All of those are going to have the same firing in this unit. So we're going to leave this here for 35 minutes and then we'll come back and take it off. Okay, my piece is fired and I'm ready to take it off. Now, normally I just let these pieces air cool. I, I'll just set it on the tile and let it cool off. But in the interest of speeding things along, I'm going to go ahead and quench it and I'll just cool it off that way. Um, and you could have put, I could have put several pieces on there all at once. I didn't have to do one piece at a time. Um, but for purposes of video filming, it's easier that way. If you do have more pieces that you want to fire, you'll want to go ahead and put the lid back on for 15 minutes before you fire the next round of pieces to let it get back up to full temperature. Um, in the meantime, let's see how our firing went. Let me dry this puppy off. And I'm going to hit it with the wire brush. And hey, look at that, we got silver. Ta-da! And there's my silver piece. Anyway, that's all there is to firing with the ultralight kiln. And I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on my next video.